didn't really make it that good no offense like i'm sorry girlfriend but i just had like a gagging fit at the table and jordan's like am i eating gross <laughs> that was just nasty i feel like the only way i could go about making the day feel really good and lovely and like getting myself out of this mental state of feeling like i'm doing the same thing every day even though like technically i am and like i guess everyone kind of is currently I guess in the process of filming another video, which is the 5 times 55 method, uh, manifestation methods. We're just gonna hop in to this video also, writing down my manifestations and hoping that they come true in 5 days. <laughs> myself i think i just like i'm over analyzing everything but this pen i have like a million more of these pens because this is my favorite pen ever it's the poppin pen i don't know it's it, they're my favorite pens ever anyway it completely ran out of ink i guess i've been using it for so long that like and then i switched to this pen which is like my second most favorite pen because it's like really inky um it just snapped <laughs> like I needed this day to just start romanticizing shit because you would have probably cried about this if you weren't romanticizing things today. This is a better and more accurate representation of I just brought the vacuum back into the living room and I was putting my book back and this plant here just decided to topple over. <laughs> just working for the past like hour or so and I got a lot of things done and I feel very 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 good about it so I think I might like put on some makeup like maybe like no makeup makeup and I want to live this like cottage quarry vibe today just because when I think of like romantic or romanticizing I want to be very like cottage cozy having a nice day drinking some tea maybe maybe I'll go get myself a drink
to film a separate video today like in the middle of this video so I feel like uppity and fun and I was gonna film a spell from the spell book for new witches like if you guys have seen the series that I've been doing spells from this book and posting them on my youtube channel you can find them in my playlist called witchery the spell that I was gonna do that I have bookmarked to do which is a motivation spell bottle is about like a nudge for positivity and a nudge for like getting things done i'm like not really feeling it <sighs> it seems like so much work to just do the spell i could just like do other things in that time like i don't know if i'm gonna have a fun time doing it or if i'm just gonna be like mm maybe I'll make a protection sigil because I still haven't gotten into that realm of sigils kind of confuse me and this kind of breaks it down a little bit. I feel like that would be a fun video. So I just finished filming my, <laughs> it's so funny because sometimes I go from like serious sit down videos to like vlogging and vlogging versus sit down. Like not that I'm a different person, but like the vibe is obviously different because in a sit down video, I'm trying to get a point across and in a vlog, I'm like, oh fucking oh, hello, welcome to my day. But I'm reading this book called The Lost Apothecary, which is actually from Book of the Month and I'll link Book of the Month down below because they sent this over to me for the March picks of the month and I'm obsessed with this book. I think it's so amazing and I'm so, so, so happy that they picked this book for me. Does that not look alike? I didn't do it on purpose. It's also on the front too. I thought that coincidence was a very fun coincidence. Should we ask Jordan if he wants to go get a beverage? I have a free Dunkin'. That's romanticizing my life. The bus, ah, oh, the bus. Now that I've gotten my beverage for the day and the day is like, not over, but it's the work day is technically over. I don't know, what, 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 what could I do to romanticize the day? Like what to do on the daily to make life feel alive. Got my caramel macchiato and it was free. So that's a plus, my girl always snatches it. I don't even want to mix it yet. It's 52 degrees. I'm acting like it's 70. Maybe just feel the wind on my face. I just want life to feel amazing. So Jordan and I just met our friend in the parking lot because he left his headphones at his house. Jordan left his headphones at his house. Then we went into Primark and I got fake nails. Like the ones that I'm wearing right now. I got white ones and I got pretty pink pink i almost said pink blue purpley ones they were two dollars that's why i don't get manicures i just glue on nails from primark Ugh. and i didn't want to walk through the mall because we all know mall anxiety so i'm making jordan drive me around to the other wing of the mall it would have been quicker if i just walked through the mall and sucked it up and stopped being a bitch but the, the mall just makes me want to throw up at all times of the day went in my house and i changed and now i feel much more comfortable and now me and Jordan are going to the diner to eat dinner. So this is very nice. We're sitting in the car. We went to the diner. I feel very like... This is Anxiety. Waiting for They're spot. waiting for a spot? That's yeah. so embarrassing. We've just been sitting here for 15 minutes yeah, in silence. <gasps> embarrassed <laughs> that was so no so anyway my food was good jordan's food was good we i didn't really get much i'm not really like hungry hungry you know the conversations you have in the diner where you're kind of just like disappointed in life <laughs> and everything is just like a time warp because you're in the diner so like it doesn't matter you could talk about whatever you want it's the diner you know it's like the vibe of a diner i'm not a big fan of going out to eat anyway you guys know i like to order like i like to pick up my food 
food. I don't really like to sit in places. I'm not a person who gets dressed up and like goes out to eat. That's really not something exciting for me. I would rather, honestly, I would rather do anything else in life than do that. So we're by the pier. We're just kind of sitting in the car. Everyone else seems to be doing the same thing. That's what you do here. You just sit in parking lots and like, just like, that's it. That's like what you do. I just don't feel like I'm living life says Jordan, says me, feels me. I just, I don't know. Kind of we're able to like do things again. And I know it's the spring and we'll probably be able to like do things again soon also, but I feel like I keep seeing people doing things and keeping doing things. And like, I feel like I'm the only one. I know I'm not the only one. That's like very narcissistic to say, but I feel like everyone's doing things but me and I feel like hello like aren't we supposed to not be doing things but like I get it like it's I just want to like feel free <laughs> run around and like hang from a tree I know I could hang from a tree now but like I don't know I feel like this vlog is getting kind of long and I'm just I've been trying to have this like rose colored glasses theme going on in this vlog and obviously like it's just portraying that like that's not happening and I'm just like so annoyed what do you think how do you feel how are you? This is a therapy session in the comments. Let me know. And I'm gonna go, but if you enjoyed any moments of this at all, for no reason whatsoever, please subscribe. That would mean the world to me. Yeah. Maybe then, like, we could run around virtually, like, play together forever. Virtual okay. Play time is so cool. Bye.